Hey everybody, it's Linda here, and this week we're talking about weasels. Now here in Ontario, we've got three different types. We've got the long-tailed weasel, which is the largest we have. We've got the short-tailed weasel, which is a little bit smaller. And we also have one called the least weasel, which is the smallest in the weasel family. Now, don't let their cuteness fool you. These guys are fierce hunters. Never underestimate the power of the world's smallest carnivore, because here they are. They're also related to the black-footed ferret, the mink, and the skunk because they are able to excrete foul secretions from their rear end. So yes, they can be quite stinky. The other cool thing is they are normally a nice brown color during the warmer months, but in the winter time, they camouflage pure white, except for the tip on their tail. And when they're in this phase, they're known as an ermine. Let's find out some more. Weasels like to live in coniferous forests, marshes, meadows, and woodlands, and they are also able to swim and climb trees. And did you know that a weasel is considered to be a farmer's best friend? And that's because they like to hunt those animals that would come to destroy the farmer's crops, animals like mice, rats, and birds. Now frogs and rabbits, they are also on their menu, but the cool thing is, before they hunt, they actually do this really cool dance in in order to intimidate their prey. Weasels have been known to raid and take over underground burrows made by other animals. And because they don't store fat on their bodies, they kill more than they can eat. And they are considered to be solitary animals who like to spend time alone. But did you know that a group of weasels together is called a boogle, a confusion, a gang, or a pack? Now how cool is that? That's all for now. Don't forget to get outside and enjoy nature.